We really appreciate it. I want to ask you one more thing and then, or one more topic, and then we can let you go. And we really appreciate it. But you've here in recent years, you've taken another big risk. You, you've been open with your support of President Trump. Uh, last week, you, you've, you said, you know what, let's boycott Fox News over Tucker Carlson. Uh, both of those positions, I'm certainly boycotting Tucker, I mean, Fox News. I'll never turn the channel on again. Uh, so I agree with you there. And I certainly was a supporter of Donald Trump. Uh, and, and I agree with you there. But, well, I, both of us are taking a risk. I, I'm taking a risk. I'm black, so I'm not supposed to, I'm supposed to hate <laughs> Donald Trump. Uh, and you're a uh, public figure. And public figures are required to hate Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson. But why, why have you been so open about your political views? And has it cost you any personal relationships? I don't know if it's cost me any personal relationships, but it's cost me money. Uh, you know, in, the, in the, the legal issue that I'm going through now, as you know, uh, there's a gag order can not be talked about. I, I relish the day that I can talk about it. But getting back to um, the political, I don't agree with everything Donald Trump does and says. I don't agree with everything Tucker Carlson says. Not everyone agrees with what I say or do. Uh, so, you know, I, I wanna make that clear. Uh, you know, President Trump tweeted too much. You know, I mean, we all have our pros and cons. And I'm just using that as an example. I mean, but I think I think our country was in better shape with him. I, and I think the the fact that I've spoke up or I wouldn't play golf with him, Biden would never offer to. You know, he doesn't play golf, and he wouldn't offer me to come play anyway. But uh, but I've always felt like the, there's a certain amount of respect that needs to be held for that office. And I think the, the fact that, that I think Donald was a non-political president, and I like that about him. Was he perfect? Absolutely not. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. I'm flawed just like the rest of them. We're all flawed. But I really felt like he had our country in a better place and really cared about our, our people in our country, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, you name it. I think if you were an American citizen, he cared about you, first and foremost. I don't know if our current president has the same mentality or regime. I, I, I'm not knocking anyone. I'm just saying that's what, the way I felt. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even call myself a Republican or Democrat or independent. I just know what I believe in. I think the people that are in this country should come first. The, the, the care and the, the focus and the vision should be on bettering the people in this country. And I don't know if that's the case now. Uh, and I think that the, the, the left are not afraid to speak up, right or wrong, and, and unite. And I think that the, the right just kind of sit on their hands for the most part and let things play out. And I think that's part of our problem. Your all time favorite president, me. I'm listening. Our enemies are desperate to stop us because they know that we are the only ones who can stop them. Those guys drive me crazy. But they're not coming after me, they're coming after you. I'm just standing in their way. What are you trying to say? We won twice and now we've got to win a third time. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Don't ever meet your heroes because, well, you might not like who they are actually in real life. That's a good piece of advice. And well, I tell you what, I've hung out behind the stage at a lot of different events, and that is very, very good and true advice. However, it's wonderful when your heroes, the people that you watch, the people that you idolize, actually turn out to be great people, good people, in fact. I used to grow up idealizing and watching Brett Favre. He played for the Green Bay Packers, obviously legendary 
quarterback, Super Bowl winner, has every award you could really ever want, and true grit, real incredible athlete. And he's given a really unbelievable interview with Jason Whitlock at the Blaze. You just saw a portion of it talking about how he's apolitical, but he really thinks that Donald Trump had this country in a better place and that Donald Trump himself was apolitical. He just wanted to put America first. And hot damn, that's just what he supports. And that's, I think, what the vast majority of Americans support. Brett Favre uh, is one of those rare people who you could cheer for as you were growing up. He was in his prime while I was uh, playing football myself in, in high school. Uh, and you could idealize these people. And then you find out they're actually, like, decent dudes. They're, like, decent homies on the other end of it. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Brett Favre says Donald Trump had the U.S. in a better place, really cared about our people. He questions if Joe Biden has the same mentality and admits, I really relish the day that he can talk about a scandal that he's tied up in in some type of thing or whatever. Who cares? Probably because he says nice things about Donald Trump. But this is happening, obviously. Brett Favre spoke about his political views in the interview. Pro Football Hall of Famer Brett Favre uh, once more expressed his support for President Donald Trump, stating that 45 had our country in a better place. Fact check true. Favre conveyed the reasoning supporting the likely 2024 Republican nominee while simultaneously questioning President Joe Biden. Uh, uh, I think Donald Trump was non-political president, and I think a lot of people agree with that. This is why you can go into the inner city anywhere and like ask like young men standing on the street what they think about Donald Trump. They all love him. Was he perfect? No. No one's perfect, he says. Uh, but he had our country in a better place. Brett Favre has played golf with Donald Trump. Here they are together. Uh Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, you name it. The NFL great added. If you were an American citizen, he cared about you, first and foremost. I don't know if our current president has the same mentality. I, I wouldn't call myself a Republican or a Democrat. I just know what I believe in. So uh, Brett Favre obviously remains and uh, is himself very, very based. Uh, he's gone out in favor of Tucker as well. Tweeting, I'm with Tucker. Time to boycott Fox until they come to their senses and let the man speak. Uh, that's pretty savage from Brett Favre. He was tweeting a Me uh, uh, Megyn Kelly clip here talking about boycotting Fox News. So uh, Brett Favre just really doesn't care, I guess, anymore. And that's really nice because he just is allowed to speak and speak freely. And again, it's a wonderful thing when you can get the people who were on sort of your childhood uh, list of heroes uh, and they end up actually being good and decent uh, individuals. I, I don't need Brett Favre to be like some massive extreme right winger. Uh, I need Brett Favre to just like care about this country. That's all that most really ask for. To not be part of the corporate globulous hive mind that is here to control, decimate, and atomize what it used to mean to be an American uh, and replace it with some type of like strange, uh, esoteric, dystopian, globalist future. Like nobody wants that. It's very easy for celebrities to do those kind of things because those are the people who control the corporate power, the endorsements, and so on. It's very easy. There's a million, hundred million Colin Kaepernicks out there, okay, who will do anything for a buck, who will sell out anyone for a buck. There's a hundred million LeBron Jameses who will wear sneakers that are made in sweatshops. Uh, and proudly so. They're, they're proud of the sweatshop labor that China makes their sneakers with. They're, 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 they defend their stands for communist China. But doing this, this is like actual bravery. And God bless Brett Favre for that. We need more like him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we got for, that's what we got for right now. If you uh, support Brett Favre, let me know in the comment section. But if you support us, you'll like, share, and subscribe to End Communism. See ya.